what's up y'all welcome back to another video and in today's video we're gonna be doing emmy's hair and yeah i don't know she just took down some braids so they got them little bulbs at the root or whatever so i just gotta go in and work with it i put a little bit of um conditioner on it and it's just i don't know like <laughs> It was hard for me to turn because her, yeah, her hair, y'all, is usually not like this. <laughs> I look like I'm really just looking into something. But um, today she's just going to get a silk press and a trim. She hasn't had one in a while. Y'all going to be seeing like a lot of Emmy because she one of my loyal clients. And definitely going to be loyal, loyal because now I'm going to start offering braids. So she's not going to go nowhere. Okay, so then she asks, could she see my flat irons? Because, y'all, I sell flat irons now. They are for purchase on my website. I'll leave a coupon code in the description box below. So, y'all can go check that out right now. And y'all finna see what these flat irons can do. They well worth the money. Like, why not shop with your girl? Okay, so we just got done washing her hair, and I'm about to use some of my heat protectant. Yes, I also sell heat protectant as well. It's a one-stop shop at Unique Techniques, baby. So, but anyways, I'm also using Olaplex number six, which is basically a bond smoother. And when I was washing her hair, I used Olaplex um three and four the shampoo and conditioner i love other clicks y'all and it's perfect for color treated hair but it also works well on non-color treated hair of course but that's a great product line i just love it overall man so i'm just parting her hair off in sections if she had like thicker hair or more of a high porosity hair then i will play her hair up let her sit under the dryer for about five minutes just to soak up some of that moisture but she doesn't so i'm just gonna go ahead go in and blow dry her with my round brush and i like using the round brush technique because it gives for a smoother finish and more sleeker it helps me pull it the like straighten the roots a little bit better versus me using a comb attachment i don't like using the comb attachment because to me that causes breakage because you're literally combing the hair with heat but yeah i like using the round brush te technique a little bit better it's smoother it helps get the hair like that blowout type of look you know and then she wanted to see one of my hot brushes. She just wanted to see everything, y'all. <laughs> but anyways, y'all keep watching. Okay, so now we're all blow dry, and usually when I blow dry the hair, I also use Paul Mitchell's foaming pomade and silk chi infusion, 
but I have noticed this that if your hair gets oily like a lot then when you use those products then your silk press will get oily faster so I try to ask my clients like okay does your silk press get oily like after a while and a lot of them for some reason they really don't know how to answer that question some of them do some of them don't they were like well my hair is, is still is straight after like a week or so I'm like yes my press is last but you know using those products make it a little bit oily so it doesn't have that same body that same movement that same look but it's still straight so i know that she has oily hair so all i use is heat protected and the oily place bond smoother so i don't use all that other stuff and same with my hair that's what made me start asking and noticing like oh, okay yeah let me see if this is the reason why because my silk presses last me weeks but by the second week my hair is oily and i don't really get that same look that i want so i thought that her hair was still kind of wet and i didn't want to put you know any more heat into that so but she felt you know when you're doing hair and your hands just feel different she touched her scalp and she was like i don't feel anything but um just safety precautions because when i put this flat iron in your head it's over with <laughs> But, yeah, I like the hot comb, the roots. Sometimes I like the hot comb each section, like all the way through, but mainly I like to get them roots. Now, we finna see, like, this finna be the test, y'all, of what my flat eyes can do. Like, I know they can do what they do, but I want y'all to see what they can do. I'm talking about one pass. Of course, I did two over the roots, but, like, one pass overall... Like, look at that. And wait till y'all see these final results. Like, stop playing and go shop. Because, and then you can do four easy payments. Like, my site has Afterpay. My site has PayPal Pay. My site has Klarna Pay. Like, it's no excuse for you not to have a unique styler. Like, stop playing. If I don't hot comb anything else, just know I'm hot combing them edges and that nape. Like, this one thing for sure that I'm going to hot comb. Your edges got to be straight. Like, come on now. Okay, so now it's time to cut. So I just parted her hair down the middle, mainly because she likes to wear middle part, of course. And putting a white towel up on her so she can get like a little picture. I always take a picture for them. And then of course y'all know I have to do my wear to cut videos. Y'all love those. So she just needed a little bit taken up. Y'all can't really see um, y'all gonna have to go to my TikTok or my Instagram, Facebook, whatever, to actually get a better picture. Because for some reason, you can't really see on here. But anyways, I took off just by like a little bit. She really didn't need that much, but yeah. Okay, now y'all can see what else my flat irons can do. But anyway, so she wanted curls. This is the first time Emmy ever wanted curls. I was like, oh shit, okay then. So, 
Um, yeah, that's just how I curl with the flat iron. I just clip it on, rotate it like once, and then I pull. Then boom, it's, it's a curl. <laughs> it's, I don't know, it's hard for people to just understand it. It's so simple, but you know, to a hairstyle, it's like, stuff is just so simple. But to, like, I was going to say civilians, like I'm a firefighter or something. But <laughs> to other people, it's so hard. But, yeah, she wanted curls, and then, in the end, y'all gonna see how these curls really came out. <laughs> how these curls really came out. But, anyways, yeah, y'all, yeah, it's, it's so simple. It's so simple, it's so easy, like, one, two, three. So, yeah, just clip it on, rotate it once, and pull off. That's it. <laughs> Y'all do not blame me. I was hungry. I had to finish my yogurt. But yeah, see, in the results, like they did not come out how we wanted them to come out. So I just had to. <laughs> I just had to calm her. <laughs> I was telling her about that TikTok, you know, where they be like doing the Farrah Fawcett trend or whatever. So yeah, I just really just had to calm her hair like a lot. And then I think we're going to um, switch it to the side part, I think. I don't know. This video, I don't know how old this video is. I edit videos so late, y'all. But, um, yeah, we're doing the side part. <laughs> yeah. If you got seen, but y'all stay tuned for more. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.